What's up guys? It's me, Christy. Welcome back to another freaking haul. Why? Because I have a shopping problem and I just want to share it with you all. And if you have a shopping problem too, uh, join the club. Ew, why did I say that? Club. Hmm, I'm thirsty. I love and hate hauls. They make me sweat because I'm changing so much and I look like mashed potatoes every time I see myself in a new outfit. But I think they're fun and I like watching them even though I kind of like skip through people's not gonna lie. But don't skip through mine because I'm cool and I'm fun and I'm hip and I'm... Mm. So without further freaking ado, let's jump right in. I feel like I've been shouting so much, but the camera's kind of far away, so I want to make sure you can hear me. All right, let's do this. Okay, so before I start for size... Hello? Before I start for size reference, like I always say, I'm 5'4", 100 and something pounds. Who really knows? Okay, let's just get this out of the way. I cannot shop in the mall. I cannot shop at a store. I get severe anxiety. I either always have to go to the bathroom as soon as I walk in, or I start sweating because I sweat all the time because I'm gross. Literally, there's so much. It freaks me out, and I don't like being there. Anyways, so I just online shop. And I get a large variety of things because obviously I know not everything's gonna fit So I have to get a little bit of everything to like try stuff on like I get a bunch of stuff knowing I'm gonna send a bunch back Is that bad? I'm gonna start off with these blazers and like blazer sets and nicer stuff Let's start with this lucky number one. So this one is actually sold out now I think in this color I had my eye on it for a while and like never got it because it was like kind of expensive I think it's like $75 but it's three pieces. So if you think of that, like you could probably get one thing on Revolve and this is like a three piece set. Do I have anywhere to wear this? No, but did I get it to be cool? Yes. It's a metallic three piece suit set. Metallic three piece suit set. It's gold, it also comes in silver. Um, I'm not wearing a bra with it, so my boobs looked super saggy and gross. You're welcome. I know you love that. Okay, the top is actually cute. Like, you could just wear it by itself. I mean, it's a three-piece suit set. I don't know what else to freaking tell you. Um, wear it to your business meeting. I don't even know where would you wear this other than, like, four pictures. Life, man, it's crazy. Okay, so the next set I got is a light blue zebra print set, and this just has a blazer top and some shorts and I got this in the size small and I feel like it was a little I mean it fit me good but it wasn't exactly Ooh. I would want to try a size under but they didn't have a size under okay anyways it also has shoulder paddings like the other one and I just wore like a solid white top underneath it and it was actually cheap so if you like blazer sets you should try it out I'm all businessy and classy with a fat assy <laughs> Okay. My hair was so like voluptuous right when I started filming and then I started sweating from changing outfits so much. Now it's like, <laughs> don't you hate that? So my next and final blazer set, this mustard color, which mustard is making a comeback, but I did not, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> it's like not my style at all, but I even like took some pictures in it. <laughs> if you really want to see it, my guess I'll like insert them. I mean, if you really want. <laughs> Hmm. This is a size medium and here are the shorts. They like button up and then have a little tie around it And these are a size medium and they also have little shoulder paddings in them And I just paired it again with like a little white tank top underneath it or any white shirt. It's not ugly It's just like not my style, but like I said, I was just splurging on forever 21 so that you guys can see you know What stuff looks like okay, boo. Let's get into these dresses. I freaking love this dress. I love cheetah. I got two that look very similar, you'll see. Because I liked them both and I didn't know if like one would fit different. They're different materials, but anyways, uh, let's talk about this. It's kind of like a silky material. I got a size small. Look how freaking cute, you guys. It has a little like scoop neck, which, or cow neck, is that what they're called? And I'm so obsessed with these right now. Excuse me. I love me a good dress that is breathable and cute and flirty and fun and sexy because those are all the things that I'm not. So if you combine them in a dress, it helps me out just a smidge. I'm going out of focus here. Don't be rude. So what? I'm going to show you a jumpsuit that I just have sprawled out on the floor right now. This would be cute for like a wedding or a brunch or a lunch or a dinner. There's my washing machine. And this is a size medium. I am so weird about jumpsuits. I just have such an awkward body. I'm like not that tall and I'm not that skinny, obviously. So I just feel like I'm like a sack of potatoes and this was my potato sack. But it's like cute, just 
I'm just insecure, okay? It is kind of like tied on the booty, which is always a plus, ladies. It's a pretty color. It's strapless. But yeah, there's a freaking jumpsuit. Okay, ladies, let's get into some fun. Ew, who am I? Okay, this is my ideal Tinkerbell dress. I might keep it solely for the purpose if I ever wanted to be Tinkerbell, I could literally just wear this to some freaking Halloween party and be a basic Tinkerbell bitch. <laughs> I first ordered this in a small and I couldn't get it past my fat ass thighs so then I had to get it into medium. Probably because I was sweating. Ew, I'm so gross. But it made it kind of weird to put it on. Like it took me a while because like the material underneath it was weird. It wasn't cooperating. Once it was on I was like, okay Tinkerbell, I see you, do your thing. So the one I'm wearing is a medium and it's a sequenced green. It also came in like a corally neon orange color. I don't think I had a bra on in like any of these. I probably should because it's just making me look flat as hell, which I am. If I was wearing this somewhere, I would definitely wear a bra under it so I looked booby-licious. I love neon because I get spray tan so I just look like <laughs> crazy, I guess. Ew. And then I wear bright neon lip gloss and it's just like, who the hell is that extra bitch? And I'm like, that's me <laughs> in the club that I don't go to because I don't leave my room. I have been looking for something like this forever. This is like my ideal birthday dress. This is a size small. It's very, 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 very uncomfortable because it's literally metal chains into a dress. But it's like everything I could want and more. We love being uncomfortable. And you can like tighten it and loosen it by the chains because it has like another one of those cow necks. So if it's like too low or too high, every time I've bought in like this type of like dress, couldn't either adjust the top or it was too short or something like that. And so that's why I think this is per 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 perfect. It might be a little see-through because when I was standing in the sun looking at it in the mirror I was like, oh, you can see my cooter. That's awesome But you can just like put some little shorts under it and Ooh. no one would know. Okay, next up We have a super cool two-piece set But I first ordered this in a medium and I had to send it back a while ago And then I kind of missed it. So I reordered it in a small. I think they, they had it in a bright orange, too It's this really cool top super fun neon green again I just like love the way the top is the back is even cool and stuff and then it has these pants so it's like a pants set. I don't know how to freaking speak fashion y'all. And they're kind of high waisty so they can suck in your mid waist. What is this called? I don't know my anatomy so I just call this where all my food sits. <laughs> as well as all my organs. The bottoms like flare out and have like a little cut or slit in them so they're really cool. And they're super tight so they like make your butt look banging. Banging. Even if you don't have one it'll make your butt look Bangin. Ew! Who, who am I today? So let's get into more of the casual street style wear. Never doing that again. I love to get like my basics from Forever 21 because if I'm going anywhere, I just wear like a basic solid color top. This one I'm about to show you is literally $3. It was $3.90. And I like to get them in like mediums or larges because I never know how cropped or tight they're gonna be. But this is just um, salmon. I know it's salmon, but I'm gonna say salmon because that's how it's spelled. Colored tee, but it's not like a t-shirt. It's like a, mm, I don't know, I just like love solid color stuff, okay? And I got this in a size medium. Another basic, this is a totally different brand and type. This one I got in a small, literally says it's a classic tee. This is also just a cheap basic top that I wear. Cause I can wear this with like jean shorts or with like Lulu shorts, I'm like, you know, it's cute. So this one is like a dark green. I wore this with like my camo Lulu's the other day. It was cute. For another t-shirt top type thing I got. This one was a little more expensive. This was like $30 and this is a size medium. It's a Levi shirt. Can't wait to wear this with just literally jean shorts and like my Air Force Ones and be basic. You know? I got this super fun graphic tee that I wore in my last video that says lead. <coughs> no, it doesn't. I don't know what it says. Le yeah. I don't I I don't know what it says. So I just wear it with some biker shorts that I got because that's what I turn I'm turning into so it's really cute and comfy and it was like $17 though which like isn't a lot for a graphic tee but it's a lot for me so this is like my go-to outfit because I don't have to wear pants always but I did <laughs> next I got this newspaper looking tube top in a medium even though it looks like a double XL just in case anyone wants to read my boobies, probably gonna send this back. But it's cute, It's if it's your thing, it's just not my thing, but it's cute. Read all about it. Literally, I clearly love you to read my non-existent titties. 
Next we have another neon green. I'm just so gangster and hip and street style nowadays, I guess. It feels like a bathing suit. I had to literally double check if it was a bathing suit. This is a medium, it goes around your neck. I thought this was cute and fun and fresh. I'm running out of describing words. Okay, here's another fun top. These are like going out tops to me, I guess. And this is also a medium, it's just black. I need more black. Even though I have black, I just always am told that I don't wear enough black. <laughs> Little cutout doohickey that shows those titties, ladies. <laughs> it's sexy. All right, let's get into some denim, shall we? Shall we not? These pants are so cool to me. I ordered them. I'm normally a size 27, but like 26, 27s are where I always am. So I got these in like a four, which is equivalent to a 27, it said, and I couldn't button them. Or maybe I could button them, but I couldn't bend over. I couldn't really remember. So these pants are like actually so fun on the bottoms, and I really liked them, so I wanted to see what they actually looked like fitted. So of course, I ordered them again, because <laughs> I'm psycho. I liked them when they didn't fit me, and then when they actually fit me, I didn't like them. So another pair of denim I got are these slim fits in a 27. I thought these would be like baggy mom jeans, so I was just trying to go for the look, and I just didn't like them, okay? They just weren't my thing. They were a no, so that's all that really matters. They were a no for me, people. Here's some white kind of momish baggy jeans. I have white skinny jeans, and then I have like white bell bottoms, and like white pants. Okay, anyways, but I don't have like baggy white jeans. So I tried, these are that American Bozzy brand and they just, they weren't working for me either. I'm very specific about my denim because I am a potato just trying to be fashionable. You know, don't you hate that? On the topic of denim, look at this little number. It's a denim tube top in a medium. I don't know how I'm gonna style this or where I'm gonna wear it or if I'm gonna wear it, but I just saw it on the model and she looked hot and I wanted to look hot too. <laughs> So we'll see. <laughs> Let's see where it takes us. So the one and only jacket I got is a striped denim jacket because I don't have anything like it. And this is a medium. I probably should have got a small, but this is like a baggy, comfy fit. I'm literally out of breath from carrying clothes back and forth. It's actually like really comfortable. You know how some denim jackets are uncomfortable? This one's comfortable. Moving on, that was just some random denim that I purchased and none of it worked out. So I love that for myself. Absolutely. I got two pairs of like these fun shorts and they're hot pink <laughs> and they have these cool like strings on the side and they're just comfy and flowy like you can wear these around the house. I'm wearing some literally right now. Oh, I just love these and they're silk and like ugh, I just want to eat them up. These are a size medium. Then I'm wearing some right now and they're like red. Actually, why am I standing up? I'm going to freaking show them to you in the try on. But then these ones are a medium and they have like the little side snips on the side buttons. I think that these might be my new obsession. Just like being around the house and like filming videos and stuff. Like these are so cute. And if I had a man that was over, he'd probably like think they were cute too. Like they're like sexy. Moral of the story, I love these shorts. So buy them. <laughs> all right, ladies, let's get into the moment we've all been waiting for. Jogging! I just did a joggers haul, but guess what? I got more joggers because I had to like return all of those because they looked bad on my awkward ass body. So let's show you the more comfy ones. First of all, Forever 21 has Champion since when? They were all sold out of the small, but these are some medium sweats. They say like Champion down here and they're a dark gray. Wish I had them in a small, but they were sold out. So these are just like baggy and comfy and cute. I seriously love Champion. They feel, it's just such good quality and you look so gangster. I gotta stop saying that word. Another pair of champion shorts I got are these ones that are so cute and they're light gray and they're just like comfy. They're like chill sweats. Like you can wear them to class or, you know, I probably won't wear them ever until next year because it's freaking hot now and I'm ordering sweatpants. Why? Because I have issues. They are like more pricey than the other joggers I'm going to show you and like that Forever 21 sells, but it's champion. So, I mean, that's why, girl. It's worth it. You look freaking hip. These are my favorite. I got these in a medium and they are so freaking snug. They are like super high waisted, but like they're just so soft and they were cheap as frick. So I definitely think these were worth the buy. And this is like a cool greeny color. I don't know. Yeah, love these. Okay, another pair of joggers I got. These are a size small and these are like a mauvish color. Um, I think these are pretty high waisted too. They got the same like tight bottoms. I, well, duh, those are joggers. They're like, you know, comfy, tight on the booty. We just love joggers over here on YouTube. Okay, next, these are actually final sale, but they have like multiple colors and I got these in a medium. These are just some freaking pink 
Why do I keep saying freaking? Pink's my favorite color if you didn't know. Now you do. These are high-waisted. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna wear these, but I can't take them back, so I'm stuck with them. So gotta figure it out, girl. Ugh. Look, it's a snake. Okay, no, it's not. I got me some bubblegum pink joggers because everyone needs that in their wardrobe. What? These are just a solid black pair of silk joggers. These are small and they're all snapped on the side. I don't have like an essential pair of like going out joggers. Like I have all my sleep and casual ones and all those ones that I bought from the last haul. Go watch it, <laughs> link below. But these like I feel like I could totally wear with some heels and like, yeah, you know, like a cute top and go out and be like, what up boys, date me. Here is another pair of joggers I got. These are also a size small. They like made me feel like an astronaut and they have this cool thing on the side. It says girl. Ew, that's so weird. It literally says girl. Girl, bye. <laughs> Didn't even notice that until now. I have a picture of these as well. Really wanna see that too. You guys should just follow me on Instagram if you don't so you can see these banging pics. This wasn't that comfortable, but they like looked cool and I don't have anything like this. So I went ahead and splurged. I didn't splurge, it was $27, but. Oops. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I cannot wait to take some freaking... Stop saying frick and freaking. Thank you. I had to put myself in place there. Um, I cannot wait to get some... I <laughs> almost said it again. Gangster picks in these... This Gigi Hadid set I got. They had it in another color too. This is a little pricey, but the material, like... Okay, let me show you the top. The top feels like a bathing suit. It's like a bodysuit. And I got a medium. It fit like weird right here. It has like a pat pads built in, so you don't need to wear a bra, even though I literally never wear bras because I'm just careless. Um, but this is Reebok times Reebok and Gigi Hadid, Hadid, Hadid Frick collab. You stupid. It seriously feels like a bathing suit. And then you pair it with these cool gangster. That was the whitest gangster I've ever, okay. Fun pants. These are so cool and they're expensive too, of course, because it's the queen, but I kind of think they're worth it. Like they're, they feel like they're a good brand. Like they feel like I am Gia or like, I don't know. Makes me kind of want the other color, but also like where the frick am I gonna wear this? I do not live in LA. I live in freaking Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, it's a brand new day, of course. Let me just tell y'all something. There was a lot of material needed for this video and of course I'm scatterbrained all over the place, didn't fit at all, the sun went down even though it's the next day and that the sun is down again because my sleep schedule is fricked up. But I totally forgot to film all the accessories. It's the next day and I'm filming them for you. And I'm also trying things on on a different day, so this video is gonna be like all over the place. You don't really even care, but some people do care, so. I'm explaining myself, okay. So I'm gonna start off with the shoes. I got these good old cowgirl country boots that I've seen every single bitch on Instagram wearing. No, I saw them online, thought about it, didn't get it, saw them in the store, still didn't get them, then I went back and got them. They look cute. Can't wait to have absolutely nowhere to wear these. Just ignore my droplets of sweat, they're just tears. The next pair of shoes I got are also like a festival boot, and I don't go to festivals. I'm just generous, and this haul is for you. These are a metallic boot. They kind of have like a cowgirl boot feel to them, but they're like short booties, and they are like a lot cuter on than I thought. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like them, and then I put them on, and I was, cause I was like, these are gonna go back when I saw them. And then I tried them on, and I was like, oh, these like look so cute. So, okay, so I forgot to talk about this dress. I showed y'all one cheetah dress that I tried on, but I forgot to show you. I got another one because I didn't know if like the materials were gonna be different and they actually do fit different, but I like both of them, which never happens. And this one is a size small and it's freaking $22. And it also kind of has that slight cow neck. This one's a little bit tighter than the other one. But like I said, I love cheetah print and this is so cute. <laughs> Speaking of prints, these were $15 for camo leggings, which you can get like Spanx camo leggings for like over $100 or Lulu camo. And you really wouldn't even know that they like are this cheap, honestly. So maybe I can just blend in and hide from all my hoes. Another top that I totally forgot about was in this order because I wore it like the day after I got it. It's like so not my style, but I'm like branching out, you know, trying to fit in with the trends, but still be myself, just trying to like adjust my style, you know what I'm saying? I got this mesh, first of all, I don't do mesh, and I don't do up high necks, I don't do see-through, and that's everything this is. I have no idea what it says on the side. I wore just like a white top under it, and some biker shorts that I got, and I looked so gangster. 
Speaking of biker shorts, I've already worn these three times and I've always roasted biker shorts. So I'm fake. Call me out now. I know. I haven't like really worn them where people will see me, but they're they're cute. I don't remember how much they were. I'll put it on the screen, but they were so cheap. I think they were like three dollars and my dog chewed a hole in them. And then my comforter exploded in the dryer, so right now they need a really good lint roller or something. Why did I just have a comb over like that that entire time? Now I'm going to show you some freaking bucket hats. I used to love bucket hats. My sister would always roast me. She probably still would if she saw me wear this. The first one I got is this zebra one, and it's reversible. So you can do the black side, even though I... Well, I don't really like zebra, but I don't like plain solid black because I'm too colorful and spontaneous for that. <laughs> you could say. Oh my god, that feels so good. I'm airing out my cleavage and my upper lip. Look at the freaking sun going down. I can't wait to wear this and hide my identity. Okay. I also got another bucket hat because I was just really feeling it. They were so cheap and I just wanted to snag them before they were gone. So this one was $12 also. And this one is just like a light color tie-dye. And I went in Justice the other day because don't ask. And this is very trendy for the like six, seven, eight year old girl brand right now. So I just thought I'd jump in that pool and bring it to the 22 year old brand. How do I look? Ooh. I recently got low top Air Force Ones. I've been trying for a year. I finally got a kid's little boy's size four. So finally found them. So I like to wear higher socks with mine because the way my body is proportioned, I have skinny ass ankles and fat ass thighs. So it kind of goes like Row. So I like to wear <laughs> well, What was that? I like to wear high socks with them. So I got a pair of like neon kind of like fishnet socks, but they're just like ankle socks, I guess. And then I got this little rainbow pair and these were so cheap. These kind of remind me of like American Apparel, rest in peace, but um, they were $2. So about to break out these bad puppies right here. These right here. Another accessory I got, I got this three piece necklace set that I'm wearing and it, right now I'm only wearing two pieces because I can't find the third chain. And then the last accessory I'm gonna show you are these sunnies I got. <laughs> Just showing you them, you know, all intact with the tags and everything. So that about wraps it up for the accessories that I got. I think I might have got more stuff and I'm like looking at stuff right now actually. Doesn't matter, we've already made such a long video. <laughs> I'm so freaking lazy. Um, if you guys like my haul videos or like like seeing me splurge on a bunch of money like this and trying them on for you, then make sure you let me know below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me on all my social medias if you don't already. Subscribe if you don't already because that'd be rude if you don't. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I also love cars right outside my window being loud when I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm really happy. <sighs> Moving on. This is how I spend my Saturday. <laughs> I don't even like make money off YouTube, by the way, so. A lot of this has got to go back, okay? Please sponsor me Forever 21. I think at this point, I deserve it. But thank you. We love you. XO, XO, sincerely, Christy Bieber.